Hello, and welcome to Banter Gaming for the uh, second episode of Flat Out. In the previous episode, we uh, completed one race, just one. Uh, I'll move it on, will be in the first episode. We just did the one, finished second, most disappointingly, but we got some money out of it, got a bit of tuning to the car done. I suppose we're ready to continue. I want to, um, I want to do the race series, series, uh, sort of in order. So instead of just dropping straight down this side to the, uh, the bronze classic at the bottom there, we're gonna run it on the top ones and then drop down. If you, uh, kinda see what I'm getting at. Right, let's get this done. Let's do a A amateur run. I ain't no amateur. I'm pro. This is insultive. Right, let's do this. We've, uh, oh, here we go. Let's have a look at the grid. We're at the back of the grid, or in the middle of the grid, or whatever. Oh, <laughs> AI drivers. Can't beat them. Well, you can. Quite easily. Look at this. Clean run. Go for a speed run. Oh, maybe not. Clip that, uh, clip that apex a bit too hardcore there. I love the vorty exhaust notes of these cars. It really is just a... I've got a hole in my exhaust. Oh! Jesus! <laughs> what a recovery! Yeah, it really is just a... I've got an ex a hole in my exhaust. Oh! Nearly hit the... Hit the bridge there. Probably shouldn't have nitroed over that jump. We will remember that for the next lap. <laughs> Shattered. Front right, front right wheel hub there, and uh, rear left, all completely destroyed that landing. And here we go, coming round to the main straight for the uh, second lap. The series is um, this one. I really feel I'm going to enjoy, enjoy making. I love this game. I loved it on the original Xbox. I love it on the PC. <laughs> it's uh, it's very rare I find a, a racing game on PC that I can play with the keyboard. You can make fine adjustments with the keys, with the quick taps of the keys, and it'll just send your car off in random tangents. It's uh, it's nice. I like it. Very good game. Uh, that is not to say that I won't be continuing with uh, the Tricky Truck series. That is going to carry on as per usual on schedule. Hopefully, if uh, nothing tries to <laughs> tries to stop me, which is uh, coming becoming a recurring theme within this channel, is uh, problems with everything and anything. Really, it's uh, YouTube just doesn't want us to make a channel, but thankfully we're stubborn <laughs> stubborn fools and we'll continue to do so anyway. We're at one lap three. This is relatively easy. Maybe a little bit too easy. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm not gonna really really do much more tuning to the car for the time being. Um don't know I might focus on the handling of the car. And then I'm going to try and save up money for a uh, turbocharger. Uh, costs about four thousand dollars, I think, and it'd be really good for entering the uh, the silver silver series. Keep the car going in the silver series, rather than having to buy a bigger, more powerful one. Don't aim for that wall. That's ridiculous, Sean. Ah, right, now we're coming round for the final run. We're going to boost over the line naturally, just get rid of that built up nitro. Not much of it, but into the wall. Way! <laughs> yep, totally worth it. Well, that was, that was simple enough, a little bit unexciting. <laughs> Maybe too easy. 
I'm concerned. Very little smash bonus there. Not to worry. Um, but yeah. Yeah, four thousand dollars. Um, I'd like to note for the last last episode that I appear to have gained nine horsepower of thin air. Thin air. It went from like 117 or something to 121 horsepower, and then went back in here and boom, <laughs> 130 horsepower. I'm not complaining about free horsepower, but it's a very odd glitch. So yeah, four grand for a turbo. We'll we'll start saving up for that soon. Not yet though. I want to work on the chassis, the suspension. Three hundred dollars. Can't see why not. Tires and brakes, 400, and body is 400. That'll do. That's good. So that's now up to uh, regular. It's now road legal in those departments. Okay. Uh, I suppose we'll level this out with Gracie Woodland. Four laps from the Woodland Havoc. The woodland, woodland tracks, I feel, are certainly the most difficult to race around. Um, simply because there's so much debris. <laughs> they're, they're tighter courses. Obviously, big cars, tight course. <laughs> Loads of... Uh, Loads of collisions. And you've got all this random crap. Look at those barrels on the inside line there. And a little ditch. of water in it. You've got tree stumps. You've got rocks on the inside line, you know, you think I'm just going to cut this corner a little bit, boom, hit a rock, and <laughs> you're on your roof. And then of course if you uh, understeer too much there, you're going straight off <laughs> down that hill. And at that point you might as well reset. Okay, we're going this way. Jesus! There. Well, we landed it. Car's a little bit shook up, but we landed that, and I almost got that too much. Kinda clipped that bar hole there. It's okay though. We're still going, and we're dominating. I really, I really shouldn't add any more horsepower improvements to this. I'm wondering if they. Uh, there's no way of adjusting the AI difficulty, but they do get more difficult. Oh, well, I didn't need that rear windshield. They do get more difficult as the um, game progresses. In the silver cup there, harder, and obviously in the gold cup after that. God, I can't drive all of a sudden. <laughs> I've become drunk. In the um, gold cup there, more difficult still. That goes without saying. Whoa! And over this jump again, and off goes the hood. Mandatory hood release there. <laughs> I think the last the race I did. Last may have been the first ever race where I haven't lost my hood. Or maybe I didn't, I didn't notice, I'm just come that used to it. <laughs> Almost filled our nitro bar here. I'm sure that'd be an achievement if this was a 360 game. <laughs> it's interesting that we've um started doing this series now. Obviously, um Obviously, I decided I wanted to record flat out prior to the first video going up, and just spontaneously do it one day. Um, and yeah, it turns out Bugbear are working on what very much looks like a new flat out game. It should be. Ooh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> We're pulling a bit to the right now. Um, yeah, uh, they call it. What's it? next car game is what they've got it titled as. It looks very much like f this Flat Out, Flat Out 1. It's just a load of cars crashing into each other in some sort of demo derby arena. But we've sort of improved, I don't know, improved graphics. It's, it doesn't seem to be a degree of improved physics. The collisions look very much the same. Which I like, but for a new game you'd expect a hell of a lot more. And I don't know, it's, it's obviously <laughs> beta, 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 beta footage. Very much in development, whatever it is, but I don't know. I'd like it if they brought the series back to those roots, because 
Chaos and Destruction or whatever it's called was just awful. Oh dear. We appear to have um We appear to have had a small crash there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, reset! <laughs> go! <laughs> go! <laughs> oh my way, you fool! Oh, we've completely knackered the trench and we're bouncing around like a... <laughs> a 70's caddy. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was close. A series of small accidents there. Almost ended the race early for us. Oh, it, was, it was a bit more exciting than the previous race, wasn't it? But yeah. So, there could be another flat out on its way. If it does come along, by the time, like, if I finish this series, or if it comes in during the series, um, once I finish this, once we have completed all there is to be completed within this game, we shall almost certainly look into starting a series with that, because, well, it's flat out, and why not have more flat out? I'd have liked to have done, got a chance to do flat out 2 first. It's an okay game, but uh, we'll just have to see how things go. It may just be a demo, of course, for a new physics engine. If so, they really need to show more. Right. Okay. What did we learn from that? More body strength. This is five hundred dollars. Ah, okay. Ah, we can afford top of the line suspension. We've almost got the chassis completely upgraded on this. Isn't that fantastic? Handles like a dream now. Okay. Oh, we'll get one last race in. Hmm. I'm not really fancying any of those. Ah, the bonus section. Right, here's the flat out Olympics that I referred to earlier. We have the high jump, long jump. As the little icon there suggests, you have to launch your driver out the windshield over a set amount of distance. This is also other games later on. Darts, bowling, bullseye. I don't know what to compare that to in the real life, real world, but you have to just drop your dude into the center. And clown, which. I'm not sure how that works. I don't ever recall successfully completing a round of that. But, as soon as I'm familiar with it on the PC, the car isn't really tuned for the performance, for getting the speed up for long jump and whatnot. We haven't got a strong enough car for Demolition Arena. So, circle of eight it is. This should be fun. This will go one of two ways. One of three ways. We will just stay ahead of the pack, but not really get far enough away to meet in the middle. We will pull away and get wiped out in the middle of the track, or we'll be so slow, we'll just be slow. I mean, there's no punishment for being slow, I guess, other than, <laughs> other than looking really bad. So, we're in third. It's an interesting start. We've got a blockhead and a grinder ahead of us. I believe that's <laughs> Mr. Benton. I've decided it's now my arse nemesis for having one letter different than his last name to my own. He thinks it's superior with his T. S is a far better letter. Hmm. Well, it appears it's going to be the latter in this particular event. <laughs> Why can't we <laughs> seem to gain any <laughs> ground on these guys? This is worrying. Oh, Car parts everywhere. Come on, stay tight, stay tight. Clip these cones, get some nitro. Nitro out the corner a bit. Come on. Oh, bit of a hard landing there. Dodging that grinder's wing, front wings there. He appears to have landed quite hard. Oh, there we go. Oh, gonna land on him. Not quite. <laughs> poke, <laughs> poke the tailgate lock. Out of my way, you fool! You absolute fool! Move! All right, three out of five laps. There yeah, we're good. Thought to play around for a little bit. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! 
have that. <laughs> Power! Come on. Oh, Jesus. May have been a, a bit ambitious there. Oh, I love this game so much. Is it in my top five games of all time? That's something for me to ponder on. Hmm. Very right, possibly. Certainly in my top three racing games of all time. No denying that. It's very good. A bit underrated, I feel, as well. Doesn't get a lot of recognition. But I guess most people are familiar with the uh, newer flat out games, and that's unfortunate. Ah. Oh, another success there. Had to fight a bit, but we got it. Never really got to demonstrate the <laughs> destructive power of the <laughs> figure of eight there, but it'll do. There we go. It's, um, three races done. We shall get those tires fitted now that we can afford them. The chassis is now completely tuned. Um, let's look at the cost. Four grand. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we may start tuning for waiting for the turbocharger soon. I don't know. Maybe work on the gearbox next or something. Yeah, right. Well, that is it for now. That's, that's all for this episode. Uh, we shall return again another time and continue our adventures in the flat out world. Uh, the usual message for you is to <laughs> leave a comment if you have something to say. If you don't, well, <laughs> I don't know. But you <laughs> draw a funny picture in the comments using symbols, brackets, colon, semicolon, and whatnot. That would, that would brighten the place up a bit. Brighten up the video's page. That's all, all there is from me today. Make sure to check it out again for the next episode. All that's left to say now is see you later, guys.